Today on Madeline Pants, we have a special guest known as my natural hair. Also, I feel very like 80s right now. Look at this 80s vibe with my scrunchie and my neon and my 80s hair. Let's get into this video, okay? <laughs> Welcome to Madeline Pants. So, we've been in quarantine for quite some time now, and uh, my current favorite quarantine hobby is buying stuff from Amazon. There's nothing to do all day. We're all online shopping. Don't deny it, you're doing it too. So I thought I would share with you some of the products that I have really been loving, and then a few that um, were, were not the best and uh, I would not recommend buying. We're gonna get a little bit of best and least best in there, so. Now, to be totally frank with all of you, I did buy most of this stuff on March 11th, so before we were actually in quarantine. I was planning on doing a big Amazon haul video where I bought everything from my wish list, but then I never filmed that video, and then we started quarantining at home, and then I just kept buying more and more stuff on Amazon, so here we are. We have arrived at this video now. I have three different categories today, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion, aka clothing. So let's jump into lifestyle first. All right, so the first thing I have is actually the most recent thing I purchased. It is this keyboard and mouse combination. This is the rechargeable wireless keyboard mouse Seemed a small compact low profile metal keyboard and mouse head with number pad for Windows, silver, and white. And it was $39.97. Although I've only had it like maybe a week, so far so good. I'm really liking it. As soon as I got it, I just plugged it in and it worked immediately. I was worried there was gonna be some technical issues, but it's been fine. I also liked how this one came with a charging cord. It's just a little like micro USB cord. These don't run on batteries, they run on a charge. My only complaint is that it is a keyboard for Windows and not for Mac. So my computer has the space bar and then the command buttons on either side, whereas this one has the space bar, then the alt, then the command or the Windows button. So that's taking a little bit of getting used to, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal. And I got a keyboard and mouse so that I could elevate my computer and instead of looking down at my laptop, it's more like ergonomic to look up at your laptop. So I've heard. And then to go along with my keyboard and mouse, I got a mouse pad. This is the Smoothly Smoothly wild leaf mouse pad, round mouse pad, leaves mouse pad, office supplies, gift for friend, desk accessories. Cover all your basic tags in that title. And it was $8.89, so like $9. Literally, there's a million of these on Amazon. They're probably all the same. And I got the leaf pattern because I thought like the green kind of fit in with the rest of my green desk. I think the banana leaves really uh, tie my desk aesthetic together. That's something hard to say, desk aesthetic. Anyway, cute, cheap. It's a mouse pad. What else do you want? All right, now we are moving on to my water bottle. This is the Simple Modern 32 ounce Summit water bottle, stainless steel tumbler, metal flask, plus two lids, wide mouth, double wall vacuum, insulated leak proof in the color Ombre Sweet Taffy. Honestly, the, the color is what sold me on this. And it was $21.99. So the brand is Simple Modern and they actually sell these at Target as well. But on Amazon, they have a ton of different like water bottle shapes and tumblers and cups and wine glasses and a bunch of different colors too. So like really you could get whatever you want. I bought this 32 ounce one because I thought it was like knockoff Hydro Flask. Yeah, it looks just like a Hydro Flask, but it's not $40, it's only $22. And it is that like, you know, keep your drinks hot and cold kind of stainless steel. Oh my gosh, I just realized my mouse pad matches my uh, painting over there. We got a banana leaf theme going. Anyways, my only uh, con, I guess, about this water bottle is that it's not dishwasher safe. You have to hand wash it. But that's kind of true of most of these like insulated water bottles. So it's fine. Now this one came with like two plain lids, like a flat metal cap and I think like a black one. But I decided to buy this lid. This is the Simple Modern Insulated Straw Lid. It's all summit, hydroflask, white mouth water bottle sizes in the color 
blush. I mean, look, look, it's so pretty. It's so cute. And the lid was $9.99. However, when I received the water bottle, there was a coupon inside for a free lid, you have to buy the lid off the Simple Modern website, but it's free, you just pay shipping. I mean, maybe it's $10 worth of shipping though for just the lid, so maybe you just wanna buy it on Amazon. I don't know. But anyway, I got this straw lid. Look, it like flips up. That's cute, right? I think it came with three straws, and I got it because I really like drinking out of a straw, like all the time. So I was carrying my like Tervis tumblers around, but when I put my Tervis tumbler in like the side pocket of my backpack and there's a straw in it, the lid's obviously a little bit open. So water tends to like slosh around outside. So I wanted to get a water bottle that I could like securely close, but still wanted a drinking straw option. And I'm really happy with it. It is so pretty. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Oh, and this video is not sponsored in any way. I am not an Amazon influencer because I I don't have enough subscribers so tell your friends please subscribe if you're not subscribed and you would like to please consider subscribing moving on okay next we have my airpod case i was really uncertain about this purchase at first but now i'm in love with it it's my little avocado airpod case he is so cute this is the lee Wote airpod silicone case funny cute cover compatible for airpods apple airpods one and two Fruit and vegetable series, best gift for girls or couples, smile avocado. <laughs> I guess it's like, hey, your girlfriend will enjoy this avocado, get it for her. And you know what? They're right, because I was kind of on the fence about it and Steven was like, it's really cute, you should get it. So I wasn't sure if this was like my style. I don't own anything else that's kind of like kawaii style, like cute Tokyo characters style. I'm a little more like muted in person, <laughs> simple, I guess but I have grown to love this thing because I've been at home. I've been carrying my AirPods like from the desk to the couch to my room while I'm editing and I always can find them because of my avocado. I'm always like, where's my avocado? It's not some like tiny little like white AirPod case that I'm searching for. It's my big old avocado. Oh, and this was $9.99, so $10. It is so stinking cute, I recommend. But because I was kind of on the fence about the avocado, I did get just a plain mint green AirPod case. So maybe this is more your style. This is the AirPods case Gimli. Is that how you say that? Gimli, Gimli, I don't know. Silicone protective, shockproof, wireless charging, AirPods, earbuds, case cover skin with keychain set compatible for Apple, AirPods 2 and 1. So although the avocado is really cute, I might switch over to this guy once I go like, you know, back into the real world. I do like the carabiner on this so you can like hook it to your bag really easily. It's a little lighter, a little easier to carry around, I guess. And this one also came in a bunch of colors, so I liked the mint green color. I'm kind of matching. Maybe this one will be like my travel AirPod case and then the avocado is like my home AirPod case. I'm insane, I'm crazy. I don't need all this much stuff. It's just fun. Oh, and this one was $7.98, so only $8, $2 less. But like for two more dollars, don't you want the avocado? I mean, come on, <laughs> we're moving on. We have one last bonus item for the lifestyle category. I bought this way before quarantine. I think I bought it back in January, but it is this pink bullet journal. So this is the Minimalism Art Classic Notebook Journal, A5 size, five by 8.3 inches, pink dotted grid page, 192 pages, hardcover, fine PU leather, inner pocket, quality paper, 100 GSM, designed in San Francisco. So I was bullet journaling back when I had like, you know, a work schedule. I haven't really touched this since. See, look, weekly goals, there are none. <laughs> but if you've been thinking about starting a bullet journal, I highly, highly recommend this one. This one was only $8.95, and I think it's pretty identical to the $20 Lectern 1917. Did I say that right? The very like fancy bullet journal is the Lectern, and it's $20, and this is 
basically the same thing for $9. Oh look, there's my FabFitFun tracker. If you watched my FabFitFun video, this is where I tracked my products. I don't think the pages bleed through. I think it's a perfect bullet journal, honestly. And with that, we are going to move on to the beauty category. Okay, so I think for the beauty category, I'm gonna start with the not so great products, the ones I kinda regret buying. Not regret, regret is a strong word. They're just not the best. They are the least best. Our first item is these foam curling rods. These are the Tifara Beauty 42 pack 7 inch flexible curling rods and they were $12.99 so $13 and $72 is a lot so it is a good value and they're like all different sizes come in this nice little compact carrier. Now I've only used these once so however I think there is a pretty big learning curve on how to use these. So when I first put them in, intuitively, you would think, take a piece of hair to get it to stay. You gotta roll it up there, maybe roll in the edge piece, stick it in your hair, right? That's what you would think. But if you do it this way and you're not like careful about it, you're gonna get like a Shirley Temple ringlet and not like a nice beachy wave that's in style right now. So I literally only used these once and I got kind of mixed results. So if you take the time to practice and figure out maybe how to wrap your hair in a beach wave pattern and then make it stay, maybe like that. Ooh, that kind of worked. So if you do want to try them out, it's only a $13 commitment. You're not losing much money just by trying them out and trying to make them work for you. But if you're kind of on the fence about them, you can pass. That was a good transition, wasn't it? All right, next on the list is this face serum. So this is the the best hyaluronic acid serum for skin and face. The vitamin C, E, organic jojoba oil, natural aloe, and MSM deeply hydrates and plump skin to fill in fine lines and wrinkles. It's literally called the best in the title. I didn't make that up. That's the name of the serum is the best hyaluronic acid serum. And it was $15.95. Now, originally I wanted the same company's vitamin C serum because it had a ton of great reviews. But at the time, the only available option was the two ounce bottle and it was like $36. And I wasn't ready to make a $36 vitamin C uh, commitment. So I just went with this one, the hyaluronic acid with vitamin C for $15. And you know what? It is just okay. Maybe it'll work for your skin, but I have really dry skin and this kind of dries it out even when I mix it with moisturizer. So I haven't really been using it that much because it dries out my skin. I need to give it a better shot, but it's not something I want to reach for and put on my face every day. The last like poor purchase we have is these makeup sponges. These are the Beaky Five Piece Makeup Sponge Set Blender Beauty Foundation Blending Sponge Flawless Fur Liquid Cream and Power Multicolored Makeup Sponges. So basically they're five beauty blenders. The fifth one I am currently using, so it's in with my makeup. This pack was $9.99, so it's about $2 a sponge. So it is really cheap, really great value. However, I use the Real Techniques brand, the orange sponges. I've been using them for like zillions of years now, and they are the best, and these are just not as soft as those. I have dry skin. I like a really soft sponge, so it's really easy to blend my makeup in. So so I will use these up, but I won't be repurchasing them. I'm picky. What can I say? All right, moving on to the great beauty products. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about are my magnetic eyelashes. This is the HSBCC Upgraded Magnetic Eyeliner and Lashes Magnetic Eyelash Kit False Lashes 3 Style with Tweezers. So it comes in this box. You take them out. The eyeliner falls out and this was $16.98. So for $17, you get three sets of lashes and the magnetic eyeliner. So I'm not gonna talk too, too much about this because I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video comparing these to drugstore magnetic eyelashes. But I will say that there was a bit of a learning curve getting these to stick on your eyes correctly. But now that I've figured it out, I love them. I'm obsessed when I wear them. I'm wearing some right now. I'm wearing the 
drugstore ones right now, but I just feel like I'm wearing lash extensions. So these are more like the everyday ones. These ones are my favorite. They're a little more voluminous. And then the third pair, so it comes with three pairs, but the third pair I trimmed way too much. So they're more like super accent wing eyelashes and I probably won't be wearing them much. But I liked all three styles. I like the eyeliner. It all works great. It was a really good value. If you want to get into the magnetic eyelash game, I highly recommend you start with these because, you know, if you get three pairs, you can mess one of them up and then figure it out with the other two. And $17 seems like a lot, but when I got ones from the drugstore, it was $17 for one pair of lashes. Yeah, so this is the value right here. And speaking of eyelashes, our last product is my castor oil serum. So this is the castor oil 2 ounce USDA certified organic 100% pure cold pressed hexen free by Kate Wonk. Stimulate growth for eyelashes, eyebrows, hair, lash growth, serum, brow treatment, free mascara starter kit. I don't know what they mean about free mascara starter kit. Maybe that's like the spoolie it came with. So anyway, it's just pure castor oil. It was $8.99. So it says you can use it on your like regular hair, on your skin, on your brows, but I mainly use it for my eyelashes. It comes with a little eyelash spoolie and a little like eyeliner paintbrush, if you will. So you can like paint it on as eyeliner. I don't do that. I only use the spoolie and I only use a teeny tiny bit. I'll show you what I've been doing. So you just like, you know, unscrew it, pull this up and then, oh, this is so hard to do. So once I pull that up, I just run the spoolie across the little like vial here. And so I just get like the oil that's stuck to the side of the little dropper. Now I have really sensitive eyeballs. It was really hard for me to get used to contacts. I wear sunglasses immediately as soon as I step outside because my eyes are just so sensitive. They will water at anything. So I don't do this every day because it will start to irritate my eyes. I'll do it like three days in a row, take a break, do it another three days. I'm also not like a creature of habit, so I forget a lot to put it on. So like that helps with, you know, not overdoing it for my sensitive eyeballs. But man, oh man, this stuff is the best. I don't know if it's like placebo effect or what, but I feel like my lashes are growing. I see them grow. I really wanted to try Grande Lash, which is a, a lash growing serum as well. Some of my friends have recommended it, but it's a $60 commitment and I don't know if my baby eyeballs can handle it. So um, I'm gonna stick with the $9 commitment before I move on to the $60 lash growing serum. So if you're trying to grow your lashes, I think this works. And it was only $9 for this big old bottle of castor oil. I mean, what have you got to lose? Okay, and then we have not one, but two bonus products. It's two things, but they go together. So this is my gel base and top coat. These come in a pack together. They are the Amelie Gel Nail Polish No Wipe Top and Base Coat Set Soak Off UV Light Gel Nail Lacquer times two, 10 milliliters each. And to go with these, I have my gel LED light. This one is the gel UV LED nail lamp, LKE nail dryer, 40 watt gel nail polish, LED UV light with three timers, professional nail art tools, accessories, white. Makes a cute hat too. So. So these came together, they were $9.99, and when I purchased this, it was $19.99. But when I look at the listing now, the price has gone up to $38.99. It's like a $19 increase right there. It's almost as if these Amazon sellers know that people aren't going to the nail salon anymore, so they're doing their own gel nails at home, therefore they need a gel lamp, therefore they're buying more gel lamps, therefore they can raise the price on their lamps. Supply and demand, baby. Some people are making bank off this coronavirus. Regardless of what I bought, just search gel, top and base coat. They're probably all the same, and probably all the UV lamps are the same as well. I love having this. $30, I can do my own nails. It's not as great as the salon, but it's close enough. <laughs> and my nails last so much longer. You just do the gel base coat, you use normal color nail polish, so whatever polish you have, let it dry completely in between coats. I usually make Alexa set a timer for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes in between coats. So once it's super, super dry, then you can put the gel top coat on and nuke it in the machine. So technically you don't need gel color, you just need the base and top coat. These products have worked really well for me, so 
there you go. We are moving on to our last category, fashion. All right, so I'm gonna start with these gray lounge shorts. These are the 90 Degree by Reflux Soft and Comfy Activewear Lounge Shorts with Pockets and Drawstring for Women. They were $14.99 and I got them in a size medium. Now these are really nice. They're really soft and comfy. They're long enough that you can wear them like out to the grocery store and they have pockets, huzzah, but I have to give them only four out of five stars because they are more mid-rise than high-rise. Even at home when I'm lounging around, I like a high-rise short. <laughs> So they're definitely more mid-rise. If you try and make them be high-rise, then you get kind of a, you get kind of a camel toe situation, which, you know, is not really a cute look. So I have to knock off a star for that, but otherwise nice and comfy. I also got this pair of black running shorts. So these are the Bayleaf Women's 3-inch Running Shorts Gym Athletic Shorts Pockets. These were $16.99 and I got them in a size large. Now, I always wear Nike Tempo Track running shorts. I've worn them for years. They've been the best shorts, lounge around the house, wear to work, wear out in hot Florida sun shorts ever. However, these are slowly becoming my favorites. First of all, they're high-waisted, so you can wear like crop tops with them. At least I feel more comfortable wearing crop tops with them because they're so high-waisted. They have pockets. They're like long enough that you don't get as much chub rub, and they're only $17 as opposed to the Nike ones that are like $30. So uh, I would say try these out. If you like running shorts and you like lounging around the house and you're running shorts, highly recommend. These are one of the greatest things I've bought. Woo. Now to go with those shorts, I bought this uh, sage green workout tank top. This is the CRZ Yoga Women's Pima Cotton Workout Tank Top Loose Fit Yoga Sleeveless Shirts Muscle Tank. And it was $18 and I got a size medium. I originally bought this as like a Lululemon dupe. And you know what? It fits the bill. It's nothing to like write home about because it's just like a green sleeveless workout tank top. But you know what? It's really cute for $18 and not, you know, $50 Lululemon top. And this one is much better than the other one I purchased. The other one I got was the Meepo Women's Cute Workout Clothes Mesh Yoga Tops Exercise Gym Shirts Running Tank Tops. That one was $16.99 and I got it in a size medium. However, it was way too small. It was super tight on me. It looks really cute on the model. It looks like a nice oversized tank top. Even when she ties it up in the back, looks, you know, pretty loose fitting. That was not the case for me. I guess I ordered the wrong size. I needed a large instead of a medium because it was just like a tight crop top on me. It, it wasn't a cute loose tank top the look I wanted. And thus begins the saga of weird Amazon sizing. This is a theme, you'll see, because we're gonna move on to sports bras. So first we have this dark gray one with the cute lattice back. This is the Amazon brand Core 10 Women's Extra Small to 3X Lattice Strappy Back Long Line Yoga Sports Bra. And it was $24.40 and I got it in a size large. $24.40 is kind of expensive for Amazon brand, but you know, it was really cute. I like the high neck. I like how full coverage it is. I've already worn it with my Bailey shorts all the time. But again, I got it in a size large and the large fits me, but I'm a 38B. Like that's that's pretty low on like the chest spectrum. I mean, it does say this comes up to 3X, so maybe it is a little bit more accommodating. So the next one we have is this lavender one, very similar to the Amazon one, not quite as high neck or full coverage, but it does have a very similar back. This is the 90 Degree by Reflex High Impact Full Support Ladder Back Sports Bra, and it was $24.99, $25, around the same as the Amazon one. So it's also very comfortable. I love the color, super cute color. But again, I got this in a size large and it fits me. See a pattern here? Am I the only one who's noticing this? What about the chestier girls? Moving on. So the last one is this dark purple maroon colored one. I really liked it because it was not racer back. This is the Queenie Key, Queenie Key Women's Sports Bra Wire Free Hook and Eye Closure Workout Bra. And this one was the cheapest one. It was $19.99 and I got it in a size 
extra large. Extra large. What what about like the people with C's and D's and double D's? Like do chestier girls just not get like cute sports bras? Do you just have to start getting ugly sports bras? I mean, it's unfair. I'm sure the big boob community has already figured this out. What if you're just like, you know, a 38D. Is this extra large gonna fit you? Does it go up any higher? Okay, it does go up to double XL, but that's it. I'm wearing an extra large and I'm a B. If you're a D, it's like, good luck. Either we need to like figure out sizing or y'all gotta start offering bigger ranges. Anyway, sorry, that was my rant for um, sports bra land. Let's move on. I know that was a lot, but I hope I inspired you to do some Amazon shopping. Take your mind off what's going on in the world right now. Do a little retail therapy. Also, leave me a comment if you have a favorite Amazon find that you think I should try. I'm always looking for new stuff on Amazon. I'm like Tom from Parks and Recreation. I love stuff. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and maybe I'll make another video. To subscribe, you just hit the big red subscribe button down below and then you gotta click on the bell if you want all of my notifications of when I post a video. Right now, I've been very good, very consistent, posting a video every Tuesday at 1 p.m. So uh, come on over, have some fun with the Maddie Pants family. And again, thank you so much for watching. Where's a cat who wants to say goodbye? Oh, come on, squirrel. Oh, um, guess Earl didn't want to say goodbye. That was a fail. There's no cats in this video. Okay, bye. What's wrong with being confident? They are the least best. That's Keith from Tribe Guys is um I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying guys. My hair is something right now. Lululemon, I'm swirling, I'm slurring my words.